Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We have got an exciting one today because the Freightliner Cascadia has finally arrived to American Truck Simulator. They first teased it like probably more than a year ago um, and it is finally here. I am so excited. I'm sure a lot of other people are too. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first dealership that I have noticed is in Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, and so that is the one that I am going to be jumping into. Uh, I want to mention that I am on a mod free profile, so everything you see here is directly from SCS. Um, as you can see, we got quite a few different uh, options to start. Uh, they always try and do this with new trucks. They do, uh, well, with all the trucks, not just new ones, but they do the, the base, the cheapest one, and then they just kind of go through the cabs, and then the last one is always with like the fully upgraded one. So we're just going to start with the base one so that, that way I can really go through everything and show you guys all the differences. Um, we've got four cabs, the day cab, the 48 inch sleeper. Uh, it's going to ask me if I would like to remove the stuff that's incompatible. Of course I would. And it's going to do that for everything. We're just going to go through all of this stuff. Chassis options, they said there's like 12 chassis or something like that. Um, again, most of them are just because, you know, different uh, tank sizes for the different cab options, but still we will go through all of them. Right, and that is all of them so we will leave it at like this and then just move on to the next thing um, the Freightliner Cascadia has two different uh, engine makers that come in the engine uh, in the truck and that would be the Detroit and Cummins um, I am actually as I go through this I'm gonna kind of go back and build a truck and then not in this video but in the next video I will actually do a load with the Freightliner Cascadia so if that's something you're interested in uh, make sure you subscribe so that you can see that video when it first comes out. Um, today, I will also be doing showing you the sounds though, so I'll probably do these two engines and show you what they sound like. So for now, I'll just put the Detroit in there. Uh, plenty of transmission options. I am going to go ahead and just do the Eaton Fuller 18 speed. We got four different interiors. I am going to go ahead and do the Elite Gray. Plenty of color options. I'm just going to go ahead and go through all of them real quick. Definitely some really nice color options here. A lot of new colors that we haven't really seen before. Um, and then, of course, you got all the... Uh, the custom paint jobs and stuff down here. Again, some nice one, really nice ones. I'm going to head, go ahead and go back up here and actually I really liked the Concord blue. That one looks really nice. Um, so obviously lots of customization options here. We've got a lot of different nodes. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through all of them. <laughs> it looks a little funky without the side side deflectors. Let's go ahead and add those on. Got the beacons, which of course you can't do if you got the, the cabin deflector on, so I'm not going to do that. Horn adapter, same deal. Mirrors, there's just the standard and elite. Uh, again, standard and elite. It looks like that's probably what's going to be for most of this stuff. I'm actually going to go ahead and do the elite for the mirrors too. Um, front mirrors, again, standard and elite. Elite just means chrome. Bumper, looks like we got quite a few bumper options here, so let's go ahead and go through all of these. Oh, interesting. So if you do the chrome bumper, you can't do the chrome grill. 
Oh, you can. It just resets it for some reason. That's a little odd. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do... Oh, every time... I don't understand how that works. I guess every time you switch back and forth between any of these and this last one, it changes the grill back to the standard. So that's a little weird, but I'm going to go ahead and change... Oh, it's because of the, the chrome piece at the bottom here. So when you go from the arrow painted to this one, it obviously no longer has that, that little trim piece. See how that trim piece is now black and then you go back to this and it's it's chrome so that makes sense oversized load placard or banner just like all the trucks have uh, wheels are obviously going to be the same as every single truck has side skirts looks like we got a decent amount of options here I'm going to go ahead and go through all of them as I have with everything else and I'm going to go ahead and do the arrow painted uh, side skirt bars you got the arrow uh, deal as uh, as well um, or you can just have it without it I'm gonna go ahead and do the arrow X I'm gonna kind of just continue with the arrow all the way through because that seems to be the big deal with this truck is that it's so aerodynamic or can be very aerodynamic so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do that for mine all right and then that stuff we have already checked out uh, these nodes are just the usual like driver plate stuff so that's why I'm not going through that uh, and then in the back here we got some more um, we can have the HVAC which I am going to add uh, side deflectors we already went through exhaust we have the bottom exhaust or the standard uh, and that does not work with the arrow X so I am going to go ahead and leave that off and then same with the the racks I don't uh, no point in doing those ones. I mean those are on every truck And then this is what I'm sure a lot of people were also very excited for is that they finally have Some sort of uh, I know in real life. This is called flow below um, And in this game they have their their version which they're calling arrow X apparently uh, This will be the first truck to have it. So this is pretty cool um, and then obviously with the wheels uh, this is not new I don't think but you can do the Arrow X cover. So maybe that is new actually. I think they had it on the trailers only previously and now they've got it on the truck. So I am going to go ahead and do that. And it looks like that is everything as far as customization goes for the truck. Obviously you got the side mirror too. Um, yeah, I don't see any other notes. So that is it. And then there's the exhaust down there. Uh, one thing about this truck that I noticed when they were doing the teasers is that they put a ton of detail into this. I mean, look at the, the fifth wheel. You got the, the warning labels and stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy this truck and then get it in game. And from there, I will uh, do the, the, the dev cam and fly around and show you some of the, the details on the truck. Real quick before I get to the dev cam stuff and showing off the details, I realize I forgot to show off the uh, interior options. Um, so real quick, I will go through those. Obviously, got the standard and elite wheel. Um, not sure how much else there is, if anything. Um, got the hanging items. Uh, these are all stuff from either World of Trucks events or from DLC. I'm not going to do any of that. Um, and it looks like that's it for the interior. Alright, we have got the truck in game now. Obviously, I have parked it out in front of the Freightliner dealership. Um, we got some other Freightliners parked out here as well. I'm going to slow down my camera speed a bit so that I can go slowly around these trucks that are parked out front. Oh, I got a fence in the way great looking trucks to me of course I know there's a lot of mixed opinions about this truck but I absolutely love it I'm excited to use it especially because I mean like they said in you know their uh, their blog posts this is the most used truck in the US right now I see them everywhere I'm really excited to see the skins that people make for this like Swift and Schneider and stuff like that this is gonna be a great addition to the game and I'm also really excited to see it in traffic which funny enough there's one right there in traffic so that's pretty cool. I did not obviously plan that. That was completely coincidental, but you know, there you go. And I mean, it looks good. It would be nice once uh, people have got skins on these, like I said. But going back to my truck, 
Um, we're going to go kind of slow around some of the stuff and look at some of the details. Um, like I said, you know, they've got the stickers and plaques on the on the fifth wheel. They've got warning labels. They've got all the cables. Look at the, the detail in the drive line. The bolts, everything is so, so detailed compared to some of their other trucks that they've got. Um, and I, I love it. I love to see how much SCS has improved in their, in their truck making skills. Um, and just like all of this is so crazy to me. They even got the, the texture on the fifth wheel, you know, that is like, looks greasy. So that is pretty cool. Caution labels. Um, yeah, this, they just really went all out on this truck and it looks insane. I'm just going to continue to go around the truck kind of slow. Um, so you can see they added the, the clean idle sticker even, I mean, they just, they went all out. It is awesome. All right. And I'm sure a lot of people want to hear this truck. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking. I am going to start the truck up with the volume amped up so that you can really hear it. This is the Detroit engine. And then after I show the Detroit engine, I'll switch to the other option, the, the Cummins engine. And then that will be the that that'll be it for this video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the sounds. and now we are going to show the inside of the truck actually I didn't mention that earlier I said I would just show the engines and then that would be the end of the video but obviously I'm sure people would like to see the inside of the truck so we're gonna zoom in show the uh, the dash got the can uh, the GPS right there uh, the clock all the gauges and stuff um, and then I'm sure we can change the yeah we can change this um, so we got the the trip details the speed we're going um, you got the the cruise control at the bottom there uh, just the speed and yeah so those are all the pages that you got you got plenty for it for this truck let's say one two three four five six 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 different pages that's a lot so pretty cool um, but that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, remember that I will be doing a load with this truck in my next video. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys then. Peace.